after I greeted her, I told her, after I greeted her, I told her she was highly favored and the Lord was with her. She was greatly troubled and asked, what kind of greeting is this? But I said to her, do not be afraid. You have found favor with the Lord. You will, have, you will give birth to a son. And she will be given the name Jesus. I told her Jesus will be great. Jesus will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord will give him the throne of his father David, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. Then an angel appeared to Joseph and told him it was okay to take Mary home as his wife. You see, he was having some doubts and thought of divorcing her quietly, but after the angel appeared to him, he knew it was okay to take Mary home as his wife. Well, tell me, how did Mary feel about the angel, about you appearing to her? Do you have an answer? How did Mary feel about it? What did she say? Was she resistant about it, or did she think that she would go along with the plan? Did she want to be the Lord's servant, or did she say no? She said, maybe it's me as you had said. Oh, Mary did answer I am Lord servant, how may be how may this be a Cool. So whenever you appeared to Joseph and he thought about divorcing her privately, what happened next? Well, what happened after that? <laughs> <laughs> Did you go to some shepherds? Because I heard a pretty big story about you going to some shepherds. Later on, we appeared to the shepherds in the field. I think I scared them a little because they were frightened. But then I said, Do not be afraid. I bring good news of great joy to you for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born. He is Christ the Lord. Did they have a sign they were supposed to follow? This will be a sign to you. You will find the baby, wrap him across the land, and um, manger. Oh, a manger. Yeah, I heard about that one. <laughs> So what did you guys do after that? Then, then all of my fellow 